The creator of Foamy the Squirrel has put out a new animation called Girl Gamer, starring Jermaine. Uh, I usually like Foamy the Squirrel quite a bit, but this one, it's not funny. I kept with it for about a minute and a half, and since it never made an actual joke, I just gave up on it. The premise of the animation is apparently uh, listen to Jermaine as a girl gamer whine about the fact that gamers talk smack, and since some gamers are girls, they get smack talked at them. And uh, what I find ironic about that particular animation is it has some unquestioned assumptions about women that, uh, that I find actually more problematic than the idea that gamers talk smack while they game. In the interest of doing an honest review, I went back and actually finished the whole thing. It was fucking terrible. The automatic assumption, and completely unexamined by the creator of Foamy the Squirrel, is that women can't cope. And because women can't cope, they can't be expected to cope. So instead of saying to Jermaine, well, if you want to be part of a game, and you want to get on the voice chat option of a game, then uh, you're going to have to cope with the people who want to talk smack while they game. Or you can simply turn off the voice channel and just just game, just focus on gaming. Like it was, I, 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 the fact that it got over 5,000 upvotes is like a personal affront. And this idea that one, women cannot cope, um, but must appeal to men to save them, which is essentially what the creator is saying that Jermaine should do, is that, oh, this is an uncomfortable situation that Jermaine finds herself in. Instead of taking action, how did that sh like, there wasn't a single joke. Jermaine should complain until a man makes it better for her. It was truly horrendous. That is actually advancing an attitude towards women that is far more restrictive and, <laughs> in my opinion, misogynistic than the fact that some gamers target smack talk to women. But every competitive sport or activity that I've been in, people smack talk. I can extend this to street harassment. And the way that you deal with it is by being better. Either you ignore it or you be better than the people who are talking smack towards you. I, I was walking along my neighborhood and some guys called out something about look at the butter on her thighs or some stupid shit. And we got into a back and forth and eventually he said something like, I'll bend you over and shove your crack full of bacon and, and fuck you. And I, I was thinking to myself, wow, that is really... That is really detailed. Have, have you experienced this? Because it was, it was like something that you just cannot, you cannot walk away from. I turned to the guy, there were two guys, and I said, I guess you're used to that from your friend, huh? And then I walked off. Silence after that. It's like, you remember that speech that Superman gave, the world of cardboard speech? You spend your whole life not being a cunt. And then someone comes around and gives you the opportunity to be a total cunt. How can you not be just a little bit grateful for that? This is what I don't understand about women. In those instances, your inner misanthrope doesn't come out and say, <laughs> you may have started this, but I get to end it. You know, the typical frat guy is walking down the street, harassing every woman as he's walking towards me. He looks at me, opens his mouth, shuts it, and just keeps going. And that's the other thing. When you approach the situation with an eagerness to just be better than someone else, just, just, just that, that, that wonderful feeling of, <laughs> you, you rarely get harassed. They just, people just, men and women just like look at you and they say, eh, I got a better target over there. And that's how you end harassment. That's how you end smack talk. You just be better than the person who starts it. The end. If you like this video, please subscribe or consider donating. In addition, I'll be on the air tonight on Honey Badger Radio. If you wanted to have a listen, the link is in the low bar. As an amendment to make this gender neutral, if you are a man or a boy being hassled by an alpha bitch, who's saying something like, uh, you're an ugly loser who will never get laid? Here's my suggested reply to that. 
getting laid is all you'll ever accomplish. If a woman is using you can't get laid as an insult, the likelihood that that is about the only thing she's got going for her, pretty high.